right, here we are in the final round. And this is a mulligan. This is a keep. It's not exciting, but we'll have stuff going on. Briar Pack Alpha is pretty nasty. Could easily snag a f uh, something. Alright, so do that, do that, and pass turn. Uh, uh, by the way, I did look back. I checked the video, and uh, it appears, from my perspective, that I took the naturalize. But so there's probably some lag issue. Like it showed that I took it on my screen, and then a second later, or you know, ten seconds later, it uh, decided that I I had actually taken the uh, natural. Oh, sorry, I'd taken the island instead, which probably means it. The server didn't get any input from me, and just picked a card at random, of course. So, I'm going to submit a bug report. I think they're probably just going to say that it was my crappy lag internet, which my internet's actually very, very good. I'm saying it's perfect, but it's very good. So, I'll see if I can get something out of them anyway. So we're in pretty decent shape right now. Of course, he's got a lot of cards in hand. Things could and will change. So this guy is also green. Banisher Priest. Okay. Yeah, that's a little awkward. But hopefully we'll draw some removal at some point. And as it is, he, uh, we might actually even get him with the Briar Pack Alpha. Uh, if he wants to attack into it. Hopefully he does. Or pack alpha is uncommon. It's the only thing he can like do really. Uh, only way to get him is bar pack alpha. Yeah, he could have Chandra's Fury or a Shock or something. He'd just be doing that end of turn, Sarah Angel, okay. Come on, baby. He chose not to do it. Um, I don't think another 3-3 three, three really does anything for me, so... I guess I attack in, and then I'll Briar Pack Alpha if he blocks. I don't think he will block. So, all right. So he doesn't do that. So I have the question of whether I want a Chandra's Outrage, Banisher Priest, or the Sarah Angel. I think actually the Banisher Priest is better, and I probably want to do that before he can tap, uh, untap, and get a um, what should I call it? Before he untaps and gets other stuff, because I think just putting extra pressure on him, we got him down to 12. We've got Lightning pa Talons and Briar Pack Alpha and stuff, so. Sir Angel is nasty though, I'm not lying about that, but we're trying to get his life total down as much as possible first. That is annoying. That is quite annoying. So I think we just attack him with the Bayloth and then we'll Briar Pack Alpha as needed.
He is playing around the Burger Pack Alpha. That is annoying. That is quite annoying. Um, do I just want to throw it out there? Just to get some more pressure on the board and then I can put a Lightning Talons on. I do six this way? Yeah, I think so. Totally squeeze in some extra damage. I'm surprised he didn't I didn't get the banisher priest with the Briar Pack Alpha. That would have been pretty sweet. So is this guy just like solid three color? Double green, double black, double white, triple white available at the present time. So he's attacking with that, okay. We will not block. I'll try and squeeze in something here. The lightning talon. Field ox, sure. Alright, so the lightning talon up the voracious worm, attacking with everybody. No way, yeah. He just eats the Sarah Angel and then chumps with the Pillar Field Ox. It doesn't really get me very far. So if I attack him with the Rumbling Bailoth, he can either chump or trade the Sarah Angel. He does have mana open. This is awkward. I think I just attack with the Rumbling Bailoth. Ah, oh, but he could have so many things. Show of Valor, whatever, Giant Growth. have the uh, thing that makes me sacrifice an attacker. That's just going to get awkward. But I think I have to attack because like, I need him to have nothing for me to win this game, really. Or I'm at least forcing him to use it now. This would be a good spot to have like Giant Growth and Ranger's Guile if he chooses not to block. Chooses not to block. I think he's going to make me sacrifice it. And it just went down to two. Oh, he's probably got Congregate in hand. He's probably going to gain a shit ton of life right here. trying to think. Is that three or four mana? The Okay. Well, what do you got? S seismic stop? No, that's from red. I might be able to pull this one out. have to block. It looks favorable for us, yeah. Alright. So I think we put the Lightning Talons on the 3-3. Three, three. And just get in there. We can. Is 
Possible I should have played that. Just to, uh, if he wanted. No, he could do anything he wanted in response. Yep, alright. So. I think we're okay? I don't know. He's got three cards in hand and eight mana. I don't know what's going on. It's definitely good he didn't decide to attack us with the Sarah Angel in this turn. Good fog. He could have the planar cleansing or something. Fog planar cleansing. But he's at two, so. More attackers than he has blockers. Could be for the win. Could not. We'll see. Possible I should not have played the Lightning Talon, because now if he has the um, Destroy Target Artifact, gain four life. Although, isn't that a sorcery? Divine Blessing, whatever. Pay no heed. Um, who's, it, who's the target? Cast Pay no heed. Oh. Oh, so it doesn't require a target. Choose a bar back alpha. Okay. So he's still going to take one here. In the trample. And. Yeah, I guess this is reasonable for him. Him not attacking last time was pretty good. So yeah, if he'd remembered to attack us last turn with the Sarah Angel, we'd be dead. But he didn't, so. Yeehaw. I didn't realize that he doesn't have to target. So you just choose the source as it resolves. I guess it makes sense, because you can't, like if a planeswalker is doing damage to you, yeah, no, I guess you could. They, they would have to say target permanent or spell or something. Okay. And we block. I mean, I do have a 5 5 trampler, so. So he managed to blow that game. We're okay with that. So banish a priest, build for locks, pay no heed. Yeah, okay. He's got stuff. He's got a lot of green mana, but he didn't play any green spells at all. It's interesting. Um, maybe another lightning talons. Seems like it was pretty good against him. He didn't show any way to really deal with it other than a pay no heed. But I don't know that I really want to cut any. Maybe the Verdant Haven. Verdant Haven we can cut. Um, yeah, that seems fine. We're on the draw, so. Don't need the ramp quite as much. Sure. Um, hmm. I think I'm actually going to keep this hand. It is risky, but 
We've got good stuff as long as we get up to three mana. There's an 85% chance we do. Okay. Alright, perfect. So, could be a little awkward if he throws some good aura on this guy, but otherwise he's not good at all. Trollhide. Trollhide's a little awkward. Uh, otherwise, white really doesn't have terribly good stuff. Um, yeah, I think I attack in and then play Witch Stalker. I might not block if he attacks. Giant spider. Um, I think we go ahead and attack in and then burn our pack alpha if he blocks. Curving out pretty nicely here. Next turn we could fire shrieker equip. Be the most aggressive play. Okay. Nope. Double strike gets around that pretty well. I shall defeat the green doom blade. I shall. Okay. That's fine. So looks like Fire Shrieker equip on the Witch Stalker or swing for six. This is a hexproof creature you want. This is not so much. In my opinion. There are times, of course. I think he's actually being played and constructed. The whole Bant hexproof craze. He can attack me for like a couple, but he can't do that much. Mana left sliver, sure. So, attack in. I do have Ranger's Guile available. Does he just start chumping here? I mean, he could put everybody on it. No, he just starts jumping. Okay, that's fine. So, we play Wrath of Fire Cat. And question about whether it's whether but yeah, whether it's worth it to go ahead and yeah, oops, yeah, I screwed that up. I was thinking I was going to equip that to that, but I think that's worse, actually. So I should have played the Woodborne Behemoth instead. That's not probably not going to keep cost me the game. It could, though. Could. 
if he has a Howl of the Night pack or something here. Hmm. I suppose I should have been attacking with the Predatory Sliver. Because I'm okay trading with that or that. That would be great, obviously. Is there a reason I didn't attack in with him before? Yeah, I should have been attacking him with the whole time. Okay, well. Yeah, I don't really see any reason to play Predatory Sliver. I'll just go ahead and attack him and then attack in with the whole team and I'll play Woodborn Behemoth afterwards probably. Might have a reason to play Ranger's Guile. Oh yeah, especially I should have been doing that because he had the double white. He could have forced me to sacrifice this guy. That was horrible. Um, so I can use the Ranger's Guile to keep the Fire Cat alive. Um, what could he have? He could have a giant growth on the Deadly Recluse. I'm not going to be able to play around that anyway. Or show a Valor. Can't play around that in any way. So, sure. I could have a Ring Flesh, but I can't play around that one either. Alright, he chooses to pay no heed. I'm assuming he's going to take the Witch Stalker. Sure, that's fine. Guy. I'm going to follow up with Predatory Sliver and equip the Fire Shrieker to probably the Fire Cat. Okay, so he's just playing out that. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Chandra's Outrage. Okay, so do we just win here? Yeah, we just win. So we Chandra's Outrage, the Deadly Recluse. He takes two there. And then, yeah, he's got no cards in hands. I don't think we even need to equip the Fire Shrieker, but do it anyway. And attack with everybody. You can soak up for the damage, but he still get through for eight. Bang, bang. Boom. Okay. Don't lag on me like that magic. You're making me making me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I'll submit bug reports that probably aren't going to get answered. But so it goes. Alright, so, oh, that's the promo, yep, alright, that's fine, good with that, good with that, good, 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 alright, I will see you next time then, that went okay, that uh, one, uh, whatever, that green enchantment that just gives massive card advantage is, is tough to beat, especially when they steal your natural eyes, you see this? This is not what I naturalized I selected. This is an island. This is pathetic. Alright. See you next time.